When we come back behind this nice wide loin, we come to the area here, which is the area of the rump. And you'll find that the bone in this area, the vertebrae, it sits like so. It's that sort of shape. Now, not surprisingly, the front part of this is actually quite wide. Because remember, the part of the rump is coming behind the loin. So the loin had those large processes sticking out the side. So we have to have large processes sticking out the side at the front of this. Because when, when animals were made, even though we've got all these changes in shape, all the changes occur gradually. Because if we didn't have that wide part at the front and it was short, that means this bone would be sticking out like dog's balls and it went through a crush, crash, bang, break. Okay, so all the transitions from wide to narrow occur ever so subtly and in nice lines to prevent things from sticking out, obviously. Also, in this particular case where we're looking at these loin vertebrae and the front part of these uh, rump vertebrae, they, these bits that are sticking out are also protected by the, by the pelvis and we'll get to that later on. But you'll find in the neck region, the chine or chest region, and the loin region, each bone is an individual entity. When we come to the rump region, we've got this bone here, which is known as the sacrum. And it consists of several vertebrae, like five individual vertebrae, which are fused together to form a solid bone. Now, when you think about this, um, in most parts of the body, you need manoeuvrability. Like for us, we couldn't bend down if our vertebrae were fused. Like you can kind of hold your back straight and you can still kind of move your chest a bit, but if you were to keep your chest still, you can still move your, your loin area quite a bit. But if you were to keep this part still and try and move your sacrum, it just can't happen because it's a solid bone. Okay, now why does it need to be solid? Because when it comes to things like carving time, especially in the case of females, we want to have as much rigidity, as, rigidity here as possible. Because if it was all flexible, there'd be much more chance of spinal damage due, when a great big carp is coming through. Okay, um, we have the same structure in males and I think that that's no particular reason for that, but you know, like you can't make them all different. They've got to be kind of made with the same mold. So males end up with that, but it was actually made for the purpose of females and, and at carving time. Okay, so it's rigid, gives us support, prevents damage, and um, it sits like so. Now you can sort of see this cow here has got that little bit of strength of the sacrum, and you can see that's because of those processes sticking up here. And in actual fact, that's a good thing because in, act, because in actual fact, you've got more muscles, more tendons, more support, all those sort of things. So when you get that little bit of a, a roughness there, um, it's actually a strength factor because of more bone, more muscles, more tendons. 